What is going on guys, it's your boy Echo here today, and I am bringing you another video. This video is going to be a rant video on blind hate. I know I've never really done a rant before, except for on like a kid that was in OVR. Long ass story, just go watch the video. But uh, yeah, let's just get this started. By the way, I did get a pop filter. I don't know if it's making any difference in the sound and stuff, but uh, yeah, it was like eight bucks. I was just like, shit, I'm gonna grab it up. So hopefully it makes a difference. But anyway, so lately there has been a real problem on YouTube in my opinion, and that is blind hate. And it really needs to stop. It's honestly kind of annoying. There have been so many situations lately. For instance, Keemstar, T. Martin, Syndicate, FoosyTube. And no, all these people that I'm about to talk about, I'm not fans with all of them, some of them I do watch a lot, but yeah, let's just get started. So first off, Keemstar, honestly, I just want to start off with a lot of stuff that he has said and done is not right in any way. I know that a lot of it has been debunked, saying like it's a roast your fan challenge, but just stuff that he said, like, it just, it should never be said. But in the end, he's getting so much hate right now, and a lot of it is understandable because he said some horrible stuff. I don't think... A lot of people necessarily are hating on him because they truly hate the fact that what he did. I think a lot of people are honestly just hating it on him because Leafy told him to and all these other people are like, yo, go hate on Keemstar. All this stuff, it's not like this just came about. Like, But all the stuff that has been going around about him, it's not like this is new. Like, this is not new at all. This has all been on the internet for so long now, it's kind of ridiculous. The only reason that it's even become a problem lately it's because Leafy brought it up in a video and because his 4 million subscribers cyber bully ass just honestly like I can understand how some people would honestly see this. You know before Leafy came around he had some haters just because of what he's done and those are real haters like they actually just can't stand what the fact he said and I'm not really just, and I'm not hating on haters I'm hating on blind haters. If somebody tells you to go hate something don't just go hate it just because of someone with 4 million subscribers told you to go hate it. It's just, it's kind of ridiculous. It's annoying as hell. And in the end, the only reason he's getting any hate whatsoever is because Leafy literally told people to go hate on him. That is, all, that is the only reason he's getting so much more hate than he usually does. Now just to put this out there, I have watched a couple of his videos and I'm not like a fan necessarily. I'm not like a fan necessarily, but like, you know, obviously if I see someone I watch, I'll probably click on it just to see what's going on. I do prefer him over like scares or people like that just because I think his videos are more interesting. But all in all, I just don't watch news videos all that much. So now one situation that I want to move on to is the T. Martin and Syndicate fucking gambling whatever the hell this even is dude this is this is horrible this is worse than the keemstar like this is so unbelievable on how much hate they're getting and they do not deserve this much hate especially t martin dude so let me just start off with this um i absolutely 100 percent love syndicate i watch his videos i watch his vlogs i fucking love the dude he is like this he's just he's so he's an amazing person he's in so much for the community it is he's just he's in a, a great guy so when i bring up a point here in a second i don't want you guys to think that i'm hating on sunken i fucking love the dude so obviously this all started because they kept this big secret about how they are actually owners of the site csgo lotto and they made tons of videos on it and they made winnings Personally, I don't think that the videos they made were fake. Uh, I do think that it was kind of a, it wasn't the best thing they could have done. They could have told people, and I don't think it would have been that much of a difference. But I don't think it was horrible what they did. Yes, I'm kind of glad they got called out on it. They, I mean, obviously, they kind of deserve to be called out on it. But did it really need to become to the point where CSGO gambling is just not even a thing anymore? And I don't think they necessarily kept the secret because they were like, alright, we're gonna keep the secret from everybody so no one figures out. I think it was more of just, uh, they didn't want anybody to think that they were only making videos just for business purposes. But the problem that I think with blind hate in this situation is the fact that H3H3 made a video, you all know what happened, made a video just completely destroying them. He made up some great points that I'm not gonna argue with because they're, like, they make perfect sense, but I don't think that T. Martin and Syndicate necessarily deserve to get all this hate. I mean, let's be real. And what really kills me about the situation is that T. Martin has gotten so much hate, so many dislikes, comments, everything. He is still to this day getting so many dislikes, losing subscribers. And Syndicate, let's be real, 
did not get hardly any hate. Yeah, he got some dislikes on his main channel for the next four or five days after having he got some dislikes on his vlogs. But in the end, not like really at all. Like, let's be real. He got almost no hate compared to T Martin. I don't understand how he was getting so much more hate than Pro Syndicate was, because they both did the exact same thing, that nobody did anything different except T Martin made up of apology video that not everybody really liked. I don't see how that deserves him getting so much more hate than, than Syndicate. But in the end, people are literally hating on these guys because H3H3 told them to. They have no clue what they're hating on. The reason CSGO gambling is not a thing anymore is because the community made this huge scandal such a huge deal and it was such a horrible thing that they did and now Steam got their attention and they shut down gambling altogether like that I can't say that that was necessarily all of syndicate and all of T Martin's fault because they they I mean yeah they fucked up but the community is the one who's spread this shit like a wildfire like the, how can you not blame H3H3 for getting CSGO gambling shut down like everybody's blaming T Martin and syndicate he's the one who made up the points about how illegal it should be which I don't agree with at all I mean I mean let's be real Valve's system for like rolling weapons is something straight out of Las Vegas let's be real here like you're literally putting in money so you can hopefully get a good roll and make money back like that is the biggest bullshit I've ever heard in my life but in the end I just think this entire thing is such bullshit because people are hating on them not because they truly hate the situation just because it's one person Leafy, H3H3, all these other people are just literally sending hate to Keemstar, T Barton, Syndicate, and the people they're hating don't even know what the fuck they're hating on. The only reason they're hating is because they were they've been told to. It's it's bullshit, dude. And honestly, I just I don't know. I just feel like I need to make a rant about this. And yeah, dude, I'm just it's it's whatever. But yeah, I know this is new. Rant videos aren't really my thing, but I hope you all enjoyed this. If you are new, like and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Peace.